Hello everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and today we're going to be working in the Silhouette Studio software. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be creating a layout that is going to be a 12 by 12 layout, even though the cutting mat is only 8.5 by 11. Um, most of you know that I like to do my layouts, um, kind of like using my Gypsy, but that's not an option with Silhouette Studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a box that is 12 by 12. So I have my box. All I did is I went over here to the square where it says draw or rectangle. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me try to back this out a little bit. Okay. So here's my box and my dimensions are over here. And I'm just going to put 12.000 to add 12.000. And I'm not going to lock the aspect ratio because I want it to be 12 wide, 12 high. I'm going to hit apply. So that's what it's giving me. Okay. So in this box, I want to choose a color. And the color of my scrapbook background page is going to be green. So that is what I chose. Green. Now it's going to be a different color in the center because, it, remember, it's only 8.5 by 11. But I don't mind that if it looks different. It doesn't bother me. I can work, I can still work with that. So I'm going to go to my library and I'm going to go down to Halloween. And in here is a cute little house. Here it is. Here's my haunted house. Okay. So I want to go to my size, which is right here. And let's try doing 9 inches. And we're going to lock aspect ratio because we want it all to change. Okay, let me see. Whoops. Okay, so it got bigger. Whoops. I don't know if it's going to let me. Okay. So I want that right at the bottom of my page. I'm going to try to grab it here. Okay, I'm going to color it in black because I'm going to cut it out in black. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and get our ghosts. So we're going to go back to the li oops, to the library, file, my library. Halloween and find the ghosts that I want and these are the ones I'm going to use. Okay, so then they show up and I want to make them bigger. So I'm going to go over to my size over here and let's see. I'm going to try 4.50. Mm, about five and a half. I think that's it. So now we're going to ungroup them and all the pieces are going to be kind of weird but we're just going to kind of work with actually no. Hold on one second. I'm going to color them all white first. Okay. And then that will be fine. Okay so I'm going to move this back over. Don't worry about the face still being there. We'll get it. Now I'm just using this for placement. I've already cut them out. Um, but I'm just kind of doing like a, a how-to. Showing you how you can still create your layouts in um, Silhouette Studio. If you're one of the type of people like me where you need like a visual in order to kind of figure out where you want things to go or how you want them to be. So now what you would do is you would go in and color it. I suppose I could have done like a group color and just highlighted all the images and colored them in, but we'll just work this way. And 
And then what we're going to do is, okay, this little thing right in here is going to be green because your background is green as well. And now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the house, we're going to right click, and we're going to say bring to front. So then what it does is it covers up because we're going to tuck these behind the house on the actual layout. Okay, I'm going to hit undo. See how the, the ghosts are over the house? Right click. Oh. Grab the house. Right click and bring to front. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a rectangle or square. Okay. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go over to my size. And I know that I need this to be three point was it three and a half by five point five? So we're doing a three and a half by five and a half picture frame that is going to go right here. Okay, so here's the green paper, and this is the from the Kane Company. The, um, the stick that I used on Friday was it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and decorate our page. So I already picked out this for my background, and that's why I chose a green color um, when I was creating it in Silhouette Studio. So I have my house, and what I did is I put some yellow cardstock on the back of it to show where the uh, windows and stuff would be. Actually, I'm going to pop dot the house up. And then we're going to stick the ghost behind it, I believe. That's what we're going to try to do. Okay. Okay, so that's where we want it. All right. So then we have our ghosts. And actually what I did with these is I used the charcoal one. And I just kind of went over my ghosts that were cut out on regular white cardstock just to give them a different look. Um, some of you may like it, some of you may not. But I just wanted to do something different besides just plain old white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adhering these down to where I want them. And I'm just using my ATG gun. Okay. He's going to go there, and this guy's going to go at the top. Now these images I got from the Silhouette Studio um, that are right there online that are with the program. You can get a subscription, and then um, yeah, you pay for a subscription. And like I have mine is $19.99 and I get like $150 credit each month. And then if I don't use it, um, I can use it on the next month. I have up to 60 days to use it. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Considering it's 20 bucks a month and not, you know, 50 bucks or whatever. It's pretty reasonable. Okay, so there's my ghost. And I can get you the dimensions on everything a little bit better here in a second. Or on the video, I will give you the dimensions of what I actually cut the images out at, in case you are wondering. Or if you have a silhouette and want to do this layout as well. So then my picture frame is going to go up here. Like so. And actually for the title, I changed my mind. I have these Kane Company Halloween adhesive chipboard that I got probably two years ago that I haven't used and I see this spooky in here and I want to use it. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my layout here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go all the way over to the right and then this bat was on there. So I'm going to use him as well. Like that. And I think that was it. Yeah. So I'm going to use that for 
my title instead. So that is the layout that I created using my silhouette in Silhouette Studio. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.